the way he crawled to the football on the loose ball from Tannehill. That was big. Tannehill not only First threw down. a pick that came back, he fumbled the football that A.J. Brown busted it to go get the recovery on. Titans get to 8-2 and two after yesterday's victory over the New Orleans Saints. And uh, they were the benefit of some calls going their way. Benefit of Alvin Kamara not playing in this game. But also the benefit of some well-timed play calls and execution by players uh, that we hit up earlier in the show. Uh, a string of plays where they get a touchdown from Tannehill after the roughing the passer call and then the defensive pass interference. Drive right before halftime. The Titans get two sacks from Jeffrey Simmons and Harold Landry. They keep the Saints off the board and then start the second half with role players playing a big role on special teams, recovering a fumble in the um, opening kick of the third quarter, going down and getting a touchdown to Michael Pruitt. Also, Marcus Johnson with the big 50-yard reception that set up the first points of the game. That was the Marcus Johnson that uh, that I was telling you guys about during training camp. Finally really showed himself. Here's here's, with the 100-yard game. I'm not going to be the wet blanket here on Marcus Johnson. The Marcus Johnson talk reminds me a lot of Anthony Ferkser of last year. Anthony Ferkser had one massive game. And now everyone, at the time, everyone was talking about Ferkser being a compliment to John U. Smith and how everything's going to be fine. They need Marcus Johnson to be the number two because they didn't make a move to go get anybody at the trade deadline. They, they had Josh Reynolds who would rather play for a winless Lions team than play for the Tennessee Titans at the time seven and two. They need Marcus Johnson to be the guy because Julio ends up going to injured reserve after they let Josh Reynolds go. So they've got to hit on this guy. They've got to yep. scheme him open. They did yesterday, but he's got to be more than just a flash in the pan. They And, and uh, to, to their credit... He was the guy yesterday. A.J. Brown had one catch, and they still won. They didn't have Derrick Henry. They still won. Julio Jones to IR. Still won. Taylor Lewan's cramping up again. Still won. I mean, they, they were able to get points when it mattered most, and they took advantage of some costly mistakes by the Saints defense. Yeah, it'd be great if it was Mar- Marcus Johnson weekly. It might not be. You know, they might shuffle through whoever they scheme it up for. That's great. And they did really well with the tight ends kind of clogging up some of the room, rubs and picks and all of that stuff. It was well-schemed, the stuff they did. The screen, uh, I, I'm not defending Deontay For- Foreman on the running end. He, he didn't do great. It was great. But the, the schemed-up screen with the fake to A.J. Brown on the one side and throw back to him with a caravan in front of him, would that go for 39 yards? That's another, in a game like this where yards were hard to come come by, that's a field-flipping play uh, that was really well-designed and It wasn't a huge play, but a nice you know trick play where they snap it to Peterson and they uh, pitch it to Tannehill, who hits A.J. Brown. Could have been a bigger play uh, had he been able to keep his feet on that on the throw. Um, yeah, I mean, there were some nice creative things. I'll say this, and, and Hudden, you said you don't want to be the wet blanket on Marcus Johnson. I don't want to be the wet blanket on any win in the league, no, especially yeah. as you're figuring things out without Derrick Henry. But that was the least impressive of this stretch. They had a lot of good fortune. For the Titans. The penalty, the missed fortune. extra no, it's points. it's not just that. I mean, they beat Trevor Simeon, yeah. who couldn't even be the backup for the Titans The, the a COVID year ago. quarterback for the Titans. All fair. COVID quarterback for the Titans. No Alvin Kamara. Clearly their best player on offense. I mean... There were a lot of things that went the Titans' way to win the game by two points. Oh, by the way, the two points from two missed extra points by the Saints. So I know the players said this after the game. Taylor Wan, I saw especially. You know, there are a lot of things that happened on that football field that weren't good for the Titans. We got we to gotta fix those. That's the right mindset coming out of this game. Titans weren't particularly good yesterday. Um, and they, got, they were lucky about an awful uh, 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 call on the, the roughing. roughing the passer. And then the injuries for the Saints. And look, I'm, this is not, you know, you don't sit there and throw a pity party for the Saints, their injuries, when you're dealing with the lack of Derrick Henry. But the Titans were very fortunate yesterday. I, I want to start to see now some more of this is what we can expect from the Titans offensively now that there's no Derrick Henry. I still feel like this was round two of let's do some different things, get a different mix of guys in there change up the percentages of carries with the running backs and see what we have and no real no real momentum towards a solution of what they're going to do offensively. Well, to that I'd say you'd hope you'd see some of that solution against Houston Sunday. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Houston stinks, even though they're well rested. Then you got a trip to New England that I think would just be tough. And then they finally get the bye week. Then you come back and you, you've got Jacksonville, another the game. The schedule is they're, a they're, huge they're benefit. Tougher, but the schedule is a huge benefit. They got to get to this bye week. You know, Vrabel's good at reforming things during bye week. And uh, so you got Houston, New England. I'd take one and one there in a heartbeat and get to the bye week. Well, this is a great opportunity uh, to get right this week with the Texans uh, offensively. And I, I really think the Saints are good on defense. So that, you know, that obviously was a big part of this game. But, but they can, I was hoping to see a little bit more coming out of it thinking, okay, this is what they're attempting to do now. And what I saw was they got creative on a, on a few play calls that hit big, and that was the difference in the they game. They could win again defensively against that a, a team like the passer. Houston, though. No doubt. I mean, it, to their credit, they're, they are now 7-0 and against playoff teams from a year ago. Just crazy. And even while they figure it out, and I think everyone would admit that they're figuring things out without Henry, they're still winning while they're doing that. Um, so it's, it's masking some of the issues that they're going through, but more power to them for being able to do it. Uh, because special teams stepped up yesterday, and then defensively, they did not make those mental errors that New Orleans did. New Orleans was in the same type of situation the Titans were yesterday, and the defense let Tannehill and that offense off the hook. The Titans' defense didn't do the same for a bad quarterback in Trevor Simeon. It's a difference in the game, and one kicker is much better than the other one right yeah. now. And the special teams unit made one big play that... that uh you know, you could easily call the difference in the game. Also, I, I do want to give credit to A.J. Brown. One catch is not really giving him enough uh, on what he did on the day. The way he crawled to the football on the loose ball from Tannehill. That was big. Tannehill not only First threw down. a pick that came back, he fumbled the football that A.J. Brown busted it to go get the recovery on. Um, and that gave him a first down. You're right. That was a, a huge, <laughs> huge play on a drive. For Tennessee, that would have been an extremely short field for New Orleans had they recovered it. That's a good play, but he needs to show up. And I, he didn't oh, have Lattimore. Yeah. He didn't have Lattimore the whole game. Right. But Ramsey, Lattimore, back to back, not not a lot. Has he done enough against big time corners in his career? Is becoming a fair question based on his resume. And I think he knows that. 